Hello lovely humans, I am live from my couch right now. I have assumed my true form. A burrito? A blankets. I'm a burrito and I'm full of love. Why, you ask? Because your girl got her booster shot and she's basically half dead. So since I'm not feeling great and I'm pretty like exhausted, still way better than having the big C itself, for show. Sure. But we're going to take today to do a little bit of self-care and work our way into a fall makeover. Right now, I'm just trying to get warmed back up in this little snuggly pile of blankets and felines. Say hi, Ray Leota. There you go. And once I have uh, gotten away from freezing half to death, I'm going to show you guys what I do for self-care. What do y'all do for self-care? Comment below and tell me. It is like... Four hours later, I basically have been in my little burrito on the couch watching tons and tons of YouTube and downloading everything for my next video. So I'm like, okay, I got some stuff done and I finally don't feel as like freezing as I did before, though my arm is still killing me. Like lifting it to here is just like, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm like, okay, I have been like chillaxing for long enough. I'm okay with relaxing, but I want to do it in a different way because honestly my neck is starting to be like <clears throat> from being on the couch. So we're just gonna migrate to where we normally relax. So my biggest thing for self-care, always, 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 is getting in the tub and reading a book. But today we will be relaxing and reading a romance novel because it's high time, it's been too long. This girl is on fire Cause she used too much hot water Clearly I'll be on American Idol. Today we'll be testing out my new neck pillow because yes, I do take exactly that many baths with that much reading and you end up with a crick in your neck. 10,000 baths will give you such a crick in the neck. So if it's worthwhile, I'll let you guys know. And everything I use today, I will leave a link for down in the description box if it's worthwhile. Now, let's get to relaxing, shall we? I don't get to shower alone or bathe alone, ever. But you're so cute. Y'all know that one meme where there's a pregnant lady who feels like a rotisserie chicken? That's how I feel like. Like little leggy sticking out. And of course, you can't forget your bath time snacks. This is cat number two. I'm never alone. <laughs> Look what number one's down here doing. Chilling on my book. I can't even get to it. Y'all are ridiculous. Do you know that? Hmm. What are you doing? Are you doing music? <laughs> I love you too these hoes. The gremlins are finally leaving me alone long enough to take my shower. Although don't be fooled, they're definitely napping on the floor right next to me, which to be honest, I love every minute of. They drive me crazy, but they're precious. Kind of like kids, just furry. <laughs> but I've got my book. And let me just tell y'all, no matter what it is that makes you feel good about yourself, that makes you feel like revitalized, don't let anyone give you grief over it. I don't care if someone thinks it's weird that I spend a ridiculous amount of time in the tub like reading books. I love it. It makes me feel good. And I love reading my Joanna Lindsay. So <laughs> you do you just find a thing that works. Tomorrow. Good morning, lovely humans. So turns out that shot hit me a wee bit harder than I thought because your girl literally spent the entire day laying down, sitting down, sprawled out on the couch or in the tub or in a bed, which, you know, makes excellent footage for YouTube, basically laying down watching TV. So the truth is when you are exhausted, whether that be physically, mentally, or emotionally, sometimes you need an actual physical break to recharge. And frankly, I'm glad I did that yesterday because I'm more of the kind of person to go, go, go 24 seven. But today we are feeling better. And I want to start off the day doing one of my favorite self-care activities, and that is stretching. After doing some stretching self-care, I decided to start editing my next video because I love having the creative outlet and it really makes me feel revitalized all over again. Day two. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally left the house. 
I am currently in the parking lot waiting for my appointment time because your girl is gonna go get waxed. No, Kelly Clarkson! For me, it is absolutely a part of self-care. This is just a personal preference. Do not let the media tell you that you have to be like as bald as a newborn baby or whatever. I do this for me because it's something that just makes me feel better about myself. But if that is not part of your self-care routine, that is also 100% okay. The whole point of self-care is that it makes you feel better mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I like being a little less fuzzy. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to get waxed we go. Whew, all right. My hoo-ha is on fire. But it's done and I feel better about myself already. And in the interest of self-care, I'm gonna go do some quick grocery shopping and try to find something to make that is at least decently healthy, but still enjoyable. I went to Aldi and found a packet of green beans with miso sauce and toasted almonds, and it was glorious. Oh my gosh. Day three. For the third day, I decided to focus on cutting my nails, painting my toenails some bright colors, and trying a new brand of gel nails. They're called Dashing Diva Gloss. Uh, they actually ended up being super awesome, and I will put them in the description box below. Later. Y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Those little gel stickers. I literally initially was going to return them because I was like, Oh, this is just some like cheap trash. This isn't what I thought it is. Okay, I have done gel nail polish at home because I'm too cheap to pay for a salon. But those compared to the stickers, night and day difference. Literally, I put them on on Saturday. It is now Friday and they were still solidly on there. I only had to peel them off of my hands because I'm about to go work for the bakery and they kind of, you know, frowned upon things on your fingers. But even peeling them off, like, although you could peel them off fairly easily, they didn't naturally come off very easy. Like if y'all want some stuff that sticks on your fingers, at least if you keep your nails short, I don't know about with long nails, but like that was a really, really like happy discovery. Highly recommend. If you like having your nails looking kind of nice and you don't have 30 years to be doing it, like the gel nail polish at home takes forever. Try it. It's fabulous. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really excited. I'm like, I got to be cute all week long. Hi. It is now a week later. I was attempting the weekend of self-care, but instead got caught up in the craziness that was my very last week of clinicals, but I survived. <laughs> My waistline, unfortunately, was uh, a little larger from stress eating, and my face looks a hot mess from the stress. Nice and, you know, breakouts, fun. But we are going to hop right back in to some self-care today. Show you guys more of what I do. But one of the biggest things for self-care for me is getting some exercise in, because when I get those endorphins going, y'all know the Legally Blonde quote. Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. So I'm gonna go do some self-care, get some endorphins because it really does make me feel better about myself and get started with the day. I wanted to do a workout that was a little bit more intense than usual. And I was gonna do a fitness martial workout and then remembered that uh, your girl can't dance worth crap. So instead I did a random hit workout off of YouTube and it worked pretty well cause I was pretty stinking pooped after. One hour later. We have been procrastinating because somebody thinks I am her personal mattress, but it is time to go dye my hair. Come on, self-care. We got kitty snuggles, a check, and check, check. And now comes the part of the show where I pretend that I am a sophisticated dyer of hair who has the faintest idea of what she's doing when I most definitely do not. All I did was separate out my hair into different little, you know, sections and then attempted to put the dye as uniformly as possible while simultaneously covering myself and my bathroom from head to toe in dye because my god, it was everywhere. That looks super blue to me. That does not look like green. Guess we'll find out. We did in fact find out that my bathroom is going to be forever stained blue, but somehow my hair ended up being green, which is what I was going for in the first place. So I guess that's a win. Might as well enjoy my now blue bath mats. Oh, look at that, look at that. We got a hint of blue and green. Whoop. And a whole heck of a lot here and a nice little tint here. My neck is still kind of blue. Your girl had to use a lot 
a lot of rubbing alcohol because um, I'm messy and it looks like a Smurf died in the bathroom right now. But it's, it's kind of subtle until the light hits it, but I'm kind of liking it. Yay for a little self-care. The next day. So, good news, my hair came out pretty cute. I like it. It's not quite as vibrant as I would have hoped, but that's also a normal when you don't bleach it. So I actually feel like I've had a nice little fall makeover. I did my fall makeup too, which I am still trying to figure out with the green hair, what colors to use and how to do it, because I've worn wake up in like a hot minute. But I'm feeling kind of cute. And I think, suffice it to say, we have had a bit of a fall makeover. The only downside is I decided that my bangs weren't quite short enough when she trimmed them. You're about to see some stuff, hold on. And I apparently forgot how to measure because this, <laughs> this is my bangs right now. So if I can get them tamed to actually go like, you know, in a bang like position versus that. God, I wish I was dead. Well, it happened, but Thanks for staying and watching this long. Make sure to leave it a like and subscribe down below. It really does help the channel out. And I will see uh, you lovely humans some of Friday in the hopefully very near future. Bye bye. All right, I'm gonna hide these away now because that's terrifying.